Hi, everybody. I'm back. I've been gone for a little while. I've been busy with my yard and um, my garden. We have had some rain, so that's um, helped a lot. Um, things look really good. Now if I can just keep the raccoons away. Oh, my goodness. They are just having a feast on... They must be finding grubs in my garden. Um, some of my new plantings they've found, but that's that's life. Um, <laughs> we tried to live trap them, and we did get four. And so we we don't kill them; we just relocate them. Um, but I had to relocate two because my hubby was busy with farming, and the first one went okay. Um, the second one was. A, a whole lot bigger than the the first one that I did. They were all big, but this one was big and scary and nasty, and I I almost cried, <laughs> but I got it done. Um, so um, we just hope that maybe they'll stop doing what they do. I I don't know. I think we need to have loud noise and lights or something but anyway back to the video anyway wish us luck with the raccoons anyway okay so I went to my local uh, library uh, last week and what this was a book that they had to sell in their book old book sales um, and I fell in love with it I like the tallness of it and Everybody, I mean, all my girlfriends, when we were growing up, we would put on, you know, evening gowns or prom dresses of our cousins or older sisters or older friends or whatever, and we'd pretend to be princesses. So this gave me, I just had to do something with it. Um, I've kept all the original pages in it and I've, I took off the original spine and made a cloth spine like I do. And I found these old, um, antique buttons, they're clear buttons. And so that's what helps keep the fabric spine on. I'm not completely done with this book. I just want, I just was excited about it and had to come on and show somebody, you know, somebody who loves things like I do. So I'll probably do a little something to the back. I'll probably um, cover this. Um, the original book was coated in like a plastic film that was kind of coming off. So I scraped it all off. So there's places that, you know, kind of show that there's been something there and isn't any longer and maybe took some of the color away and I did it on the front as well then I took some um, oh let's see gloss medium and uh, covered it so it's it's uh, sealed but I love this image and uh, the signatures there's seven I had originally just start had originally planned on five but it had to be seven so, and I used some scrapbook paper that looks, you know, kind of pretty and it goes with the light uh, values of the original pages and things. So, um, I'll just go through quickly because I am planning to, let's see, I wanted to do, okay, yeah, that fits better. I am planning to add pockets and tucks and, you know, things like that. Um, so I just wanted to come on. Hadn't been on for a while, and I guess I needed somebody to talk to. <laughs> so this is an original page, and this is something from the library, you know, the whatever. <laughs> like the calling uh, the numbers of the book itself. I put some lace and trims on the um, sides of the pages. Um, okay, and so here's the first page of the book, and it's from the Lexington Public Library. I will probably leave that. It doesn't bother me. I mean, it's a junk journal. I got it from the Lexington Public Library. 
I put a little bit of some tab, fabric tabs on some of the pages. Then I put some extra little writing spaces. This is a book page from an old, um, I don't know what it is, English book maybe. And then this is a pretty center page for this. Um, there's a table of contents, some more writing space. There's some more writing space. This was, um, I think this was um, just an experiment with food color, I think. And so I just made some little, little um, st string um, stains, I guess, with it. This is Cinderella. I think she's the first, first one. And then I had to put this here because this was a page that wasn't attached to any other page or wait no it was this one so I had to attach it with some uh, muslin strip this is this is an original um, page from a book called Peerage and Baron Barentage it's like lineage of um, the royals in England I thought that was appropriate. And the first pages of each of the signature pages, I have put a nice lace trim on. And here is like a, I don't know what they call those. Oh, what are they called? A family crest. I think that's what that's called. There's Cinderella and her prince. And then this one is called The Twelve Dancing Princesses. I'd never heard of that before. Some music page, book page. And we all want to live in a castle, when, when we were little at least. Here's another family crest for the for the name Armstrong family crest. And there's a family crest for the name Armitage Armitage. There's another family crest for the name Ann Trim. I've never heard of that name. No white. We all love that one. And there's her dwarves. Oh, there's that apple. This one flips out. So in the, oh, probably in the next week or so, I've got a lot going on. Um, got to leave here pretty soon to help my hubby put the boat in the lake. But um, I'll work on this probably through the week and probably put it up on my Etsy store. Don't know if I'll do another uh, video of it. I'll let the rest of it be a surprise. There will be some, like I said, pockets and flips and tucks and maybe some magic and depending on how much I add to it I guess I'll I'll make up my mind later on whether or not I um, re-video it but I just missed you and I wanted to come and visit with you Let me know how your summer, or your, I guess we're still in spring, but um, your preparations for summer. If you've got, do you have a garden? Do you have um, a landscape project? I helped my my um, daughter last evening with a little corner uh, place on her uh, at her house, and uh, she picked out a really pretty plant. I'm anxious to see um, how it grows in the little space that she 
um, picked for it. And she's got a bush that she um, purchased and planted, and I'd never heard of it before. A sand, it's called a sand cherry. So I'm anxious to see what happens with that one. It's fun to see her take some interest in, you know, um, her landscape and her yard. And So tell me what you've been up to with your garden. I planted two tomato plants. Um, I've got a row of wax beans and I planted some pole beans to go up a trellis. I need to get some cucumbers. I planted some lettuce and spinach, but the raccoons found the little spot that I picked for them and they did a number on it. So we'll see. And then a friend out at the lake gave me some canna lilies. So I planted several of those in different places around. I replanted some um, hostas that I just love and they're doing pretty good. So, I hope you're having a great day Saturday, and hope you have a nice day Sunday, good weekend, and this book is almost done. So, there we go. I will talk to you the next time. Thank you. Bye now.